guys, welcome to tonight's extra video. Tonight is a challenge video. This video is a challenge video. We are going to do a small little obstacle course in the back here, you probably can't see. And we have three competitors, three you guys, and we are gonna see who is gonna win. Okay, Sophie, do you think you're gonna win? Yes, but I think we're gonna do a million spins. <laughs> or do you think that the spinning technique trick that you taught your horse is going to cause problems for you? I put her in, in her stuff. Yeah. Um, I think it's gonna cause problems. Your horse is doing it backwards. My horse is already practicing. <laughs> I missed it. That was adorable. Gabby, do you think you're gonna win? Yeah. Why do you think you're gonna win? Because Gracie will do anything for treats. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you think your pony is a competitive pony that will do anything you ask her? Well, I always win these things. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, Pretty cocky, sure. cocky. Over here is Team Laura and Team Penny. Penny, do you think we're going to win? She's like, yes. Outside. Yeah, she's like, yes, we are going to win. Do you know why we're going to win? She's been practicing without me. She's been practicing without me. I'm going to tell you guys the course and explain how it's going to work. Okay, so this is how it's going to go. We are going to weave the these little things at a walk and then we're going to trot the poles which might be hard for my horse and then we're going to walk and then we're going to walk the tunnel so it's like transitions we're going to weave oh so what do you want to do we are going to start at this end of the arena we are going to walk we are going to walk the tunnel Trot the poles, weave. I think you should. Oh my gosh. And then run back. I think we should run back. Weave back. Trot the poles and then walk. Wow. But you have to walk all the way down to the end. But that's going to be the hard part is walking here. Yeah. This is all right. All right. Okay. So <laughs> okay. So that is what Penny thinks of the course. She's like, I'd much rather walk, 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 knock everything down. First one to knock everything down wins. That's what Penny says. We're gonna give everybody a few minutes to practice the course. Even me. So we're gonna practice for just a few minutes because I haven't even practiced. They've practiced their horses already just naturally do it. My horse. Yeah, she's not gonna do it. You know what? It's for fun. Doesn't matter if I lose. <laughs> Look, you guys, my horse wants to do it. Isn't that crazy? She wants to do it. Holy heck. <laughs> we just did it, the whole thing, Kenny and I, we didn't run or do anything fancy, but we just did the whole thing. She was into it and wanted to do it. The only problem was that when we got to the little standard things, she pushed them over. And then the kids threw a fit, but I don't care if she pushes them over. <laughs> Struggling. It's a dream team struggling. Yeah, 
I feel like these things, these things are a little close. Because even my, there's no. It's not because it's close. You have limited arena space. Yeah. As far as they're gonna get. Okay, let's do that. That's perfect. Perfect. So this is the course, you guys. This is the course. We're gonna walk the whole course. Walk and weave, walk all of it. See, we taught them that. And then weave back, which is going to be hard for my horse. And then once you get to the poles, you're going to trot the whole rest. Okay? That's the course. Okay, now that you know the whole course, do you want to practice before we do the thing? Well, I walked it once to see if everything was good, and I'm going to win, so no. You're just going to leave it and be cocky and think you're going to win? That is what you did last time. Is that your game plan? Is that your like strategy? Yeah. And that's how you always win? You just wing it? Yeah. All right, let's try it. I am actually going to practice with my horse because we're not that good yet. did it she moved a little when I wanted her to trot which is not like her <laughs> and it, she pushed down the things yeah, but if you do that, it's not I think that's special that's her being herself get ready for the first annual I don't know this might be the 10th annual for all I know get ready for the competition comment below who you think is gonna win who you think is gonna win is it gonna be Sophia Willow the eternal optimist is it going to be Gabby and Gracie, the cocky team, or is it going to be Laura and Penny, the pushing people, the team that comes from behind to no. win it all? No, no you can't have that name. <laughs> they say gong show team. the Gong Show team. Gabby wants me to, and Sophie wants me to have the Gong Show team. <laughs> On your mark. <laughs> She's a racehorse. She's a racehorse. On your mark. Get set, go. One single time. Good job. Oh gosh. I had my own next horse, Gracie. You can have another treat. You, you nailed it. <laughs> that was so she good. Was okay. Falling. She was even falling at the start. Clearly, we need to up our game for the next competition because I feel like all this of our horses. Easy peasy for Will. Yeah. I feel like this is easy peasy for all of our girls. Except for, except for Penny, she just pushes it. Yeah, except for Penny, but I love that she pushes it. Oh. All right, Gracie. The next contestant. Gracie girl, amazing grace. It's not a race, no, this is not a timed race. Do you think you're gonna lose? <laughs> I think we could lose and I don't care because for me it's about having fun with my horse and it's for it's about my horse learning to listen to me and follow the target of my hand. You so should take the whole halter off. That's my goal. All right. 
Okay, got back up. I'm supposed to follow you. Mom, you're supposed to wait. Okay. I'm sorry to I'm sorry to say, but you're disqualified. Hi, girl. You're disqualified. Okay. I probably got disqualified because my horse knocked down the things. We're all worried about Sophia and Willow. Winning? Who? Yeah. Here, okay, let them all out. Yeah, we win. We're all worried about uh, Willow and Sophie because um, uh, she's trained to do so many tricks. Go ahead, vote below. This is a channel. This is not a channel about perfection. This is not a channel about absolute perfectness. This is a channel about love and kindness and acceptance. And go ahead and vote who the winner is. I'm gonna, I think, I'm gonna refrain from voting because I think all of our horses did amazing in their own way. Penny doesn't usually participate as well in challenges like this. I think she did so good today. You can put Penny, Willow, or Gracie, and whatever one has the most comments in them, oh. then that's the one that wins. Okay, that's such a great idea, Sophie. Okay, so plead your case. Why do you deserve to win? Because Willow normally spins and does a bunch of tricks, but she didn't today. So you think that makes you deserve to win? Yeah, and she was so good. She was really good. Okay, so if you want Sophie, if you think Sophie and Willow did the best, then you're going to comment under okay. Sophie's name. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Willow's name. All right, I'm going to just comment all three. I don't know how I, I don't know if I can pin three. I don't think I can pin three comments. Anyways, comment who you, if you think, if you think it was Sophie, vote contestant number one, Sophie and Willow. Do you think she did good? Yeah. What do you think was her vice? That she just wants to run. She's a runner. She's a runner. She's a fast girl. She used to be a barrel horse. Gracie used to be a kid's barrel racing horse. She definitely wanted to go fast, but I thought you controlled her really well. So if you think Gracie and Gabby are the winners, Comment contestant number two. Personally, I feel like a ponies are way more versatile than a big horse. I feel like the area that we had to work in is way more suited to ponies. I feel like Penny had a lot of challenges against her. The fact that I don't get to work with her as much as they work with their horses. And it's still, she did it, we did it. I'm trying to find better lighting. So I feel like a ponies are way more versatile. I feel like the course was set up more suited to a pony because Penny's bigger in our area is kind of small for a horse. I feel like I don't get as much time to work with Penny as much as the girls work with their horses. And so because of all of those things, I think that Penny and I deserve to win because we did so much better than we ever would have done before. Anyway, comment below who's the winner in today's Day by Day Challenge. Don't you know that you're beautiful?